Hello everyone. In this class, we will learn about peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer, it is an excoriated area of stomach or intestinal mucosa caused principally by digestive action of gastric juice or upper small intestinal secretion. It is frequently occurs along the lesser curvature of antral end of the stomach. If peptic ulcer is found in stomach, it is called gastric ulcer and if found in duodenum, it is called as duodenal ulcer. Mucosal protective mechanism. The autodigestion of mucosa is mainly prevented by the mucosal barrier. The gastric mucosal epithelium is covered by mucus. The mucus is primarily made up of thick insoluble variety and does not flow or move easily. So this is called unstirred, unstirred layer. But some soluble mucus is also present. The acid and pepsin after being secreted by the gastric glands reach the lumen to come in contact with the food. But it cannot return to come in contact with the mucosal epithelium because of the mucus of the unstirred layer which acts as a barrier. Bicarbonate secretion. Between the mucus and the epithelium, some bicarbonate rich fluid is present. Within the lumen, the pH is low, that is about 2.5, and hence pepsin is very active, that it can easily digest the protein. But near the epithelium, because of the presence of bicarbonate ions, the pH is high, so that the pepsin becomes inactive. This bicarbonate cannot move towards the lumen because of the presence of unstirred layer. Epithelial barrier. The intercellular tight junctions provide a barrier to back diffusion of H plus ion. And trifoil peptides. The trifoil, trifoil peptides in the mucosa of stomach are acid resistant and protect stomach. Whereas prostaglandins E2 can help in the synthesis of mucus and formation of new mucosal cells. If there is an injury in the gastric mucosa, the dead cells can be speedily, speedily replaced. So this is the diagram showing the mucosal barrier. Uh, this is the epithelial layer of the gastric mucosa and this layer is uh, the pH is active about uh, 6 because of the presence of bicarbonate and pepsin is uh, inactive in this particular layer which is called as bicarbonate layer. So then you have a mucus layer and then you have uh, acid and pepsin uh, mixture and uh, above which you have a gastric lumen containing acid and pepsin. Uh, here the pH is around 2.5 and pepsin is very active in this particular layer. And the epithelial cells, they form the tight junction between the epithelial cells and nothing can pass through these tight junctions. Causes of peptic ulcer. The usual cause of peptic ulceration is an imbalance between the rate of secretion of gastric juice and degree of protection offered by. It is mainly uh, the gastroduodenal mucosal barrier and the neutralization of the gastric acid by bicarbonates. Then the bacterial infection such as uh, Helicobacter pylori breaks down the mucus barrier. That is another cause. In long term use of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like NSEA, IDs and like aspirins, they decrease the mucus and bicarbonate secretion and since they inhibit the production of, uh, because they uh, inhibit the production of prostaglandins and hence they can decrease the mucus and bicarbonate secretion. The smoking alcohol can disrupt mucosal barrier, reflux of gastric contents into the esophagus and duodenal content into the stomach can lead to ulceration. Excess of secretion of gastric juices which may be due to the increased parietal mass, parietal cell mass and increased sensitivity for the sensory stimuli and uh, the zollinger ellison syndrome, uh, which is uh, seen in a patients with gastrinomas, that is the tumor which are secreting gastrin. And these tumors 
can occur in stomach duodenum and mostly in pancreas the gastrin causes prolonged hypersecretion of acid and severe ulcers are produced and sometimes can poor blood supply can call cause ulcerations so these are the difference between duodenal ulcer and the gastric ulcer duodenal ulcer they are seen in the second part of the duodenum whereas gastric ulcers are the more common in the curvature of the stomach especially at the incisura angularis duodenal ulcers are more common compared to the gastric ulcer and uh, the incidence is more in younger group whereas gastric ulcer they are in the old elderly group the duodenal ulcers more common in case of males it is gastric ulcer is equal in both the sexes duodenal ulcer are not associated with any malignancy whereas chronic gastric ulcers they are associated with malignancies the duodenal ulcer has higher gastric acid secretion because of the back diffusion of h plus ion whereas uh, you can see the normal levels of gastric acid secretion in gastric ulcer duodenal ulcer are relieved by the food and antacids whereas the food doesn't uh, give relief uh, rather food aggravates the pain in case of gastric ulcer complications are less with duodenal ulcers complications are severe with gastric ulcer duodenal ulcers are superficial and small in size whereas gastric ulcers are deep seated they are larger in size some of the complications of uh, peptic ulceration are perforations ulcers ulcer burrows through the coats of the stomach that leads to gastric or duodenal lumen uh, which now communicates through this perforation with a peritoneal cavity and uh, there can be hemorrhage from this ulcer physiological treatment so usually they are treated with antacids to neutralize the acid the use of antibiotics along with uh, the other agents to kill the infectious bacteria administration of uh, acid suppressants drugs such as simetidine ranitidine both block uh, histamine receptors on parietal cells whereas omeprazole it is going to block the h uh, hydrogen potassium atps pump or also called as proton pump the nsaids induced ulcers can be treated by stopping the use of nsaids or by treatment with prostaglandin agonist uh, such as a misoprostol gastrinomas can be removed surgically and sometimes vagotomy and partial gastrectomy can uh, help in the treatment the coating agents of the mucosa like uh, drugs like sucralfate and sometimes the atropine which is the anticholinergic can be used in the treatment of ulcers so this is in brief about the peptic ulcer uh, the different types of uh, peptic ulcer and the treatment thank you